and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the different people of Earth and beyond, friends, family, allies, and animals, to the mysterious world under our feet of Beth the Bunny and her fabulous friends. Welcome to the transmissions of Rabbit Ears. It's the it's the final show. The final show. Oh, she doesn't want to miss the oh, final show. Goodness. She's got to wake up. Yeah. Good morning, Magic. Good morning. Do you got anything special under your hat for us today? Let's check it out. The magic hat of happiness. Or magic hat of letters. Same thing. Same happy letter. A letter is a happiness. Yes. That's true. It's nice that kids actually write us letters. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a really good question, and it's from Matthew. Ooh, okay. Matthew. Why do you say "ow" when you get hurt? Thanks, Matthew. I, yeah, it's a mm. really interesting. Question. That is an interesting question. I, I am not a scientist or a doctor, so I, I don't really know. Do you know, Beth? I think it's because when you run into something, you go like, mm, that hurts. But then over time, it's kind of evolved into just saying, ow. That's your idea? That's my idea. Do you have an idea? I think pretty much exactly what Beth just guessed. It's, it's that saying the noise distracts you from, from the pain. Hmm? Like making a loud noise. It so like, you... helps it hurt less. So just screaming? Yeah. Well, it's like when you scream when you get stung by a bee. It takes your attention off it actually hurting. That's true. That's a, That's probably it. That's oh, a great question. Our, our fabulous cameraman has a, a, an idea. What I think ow is just short for the word ouch. Bada boom. Bada boom. What do we got next, kiddo? The Adventures of Sydney at Trouble! The big finale! The big finale! I'm very excited. We're gonna find out what happens this week. Yeah. Sydney at Episode 7 In the royal palace of Chi, the fake king and princess Pai are waiting in the throne room. Soon, Princess Pai, your father, the real king, will be destroyed, and the whole planet of Chi will be mine! That sounds just great! Master! Suddenly, the real King Grobin, Sydney, Truffles, and Gore transport directly in front of this villain. What is this abomination? This abomination, as you call it, is your plan being derailed and sent off into space where it belongs. Yes. You sure have a lot of nerve trying to take over our planet. And what on earth did you do to my daughter? Your daughter? She's mine now! She is under my spell! I fed her a pile of goo goo nuts from the Whiffle Tree, and now she only obeys me! <laughs> you fiend! Not goo goo nuts! What's a goo goo nut? Uh, I'm not sure, but this guy is goo goo nuts if you ask me. No more terrible puns! Princess Pi, use your hypnotic voice to immobilize these goo gooders while I make my escape! <laughs> yes, Master! No! My beautiful daughter, you would never use your magical voice against me, would you? I have 
no choice. Master Fake King has ordered me, and I must obey. King, is there nothing that can break the spell of the Goo Goo Nuts? The princess starts singing with her deeply hypnotic voice. Actually, there is, but it is so incredibly rare on this planet that it's not even worth telling you. Yes! I have a need thought of everything, down to the last detail! You are all doomed! <laughs> Please, your highness, what is this rare item that would save us all? I am finding it hard to move. Her song is working. It is only available in select places in the galaxy. And the planet Cheese is not one of them. Humor me, your majesty. Okay. It's called Cheerios. Why didn't you say so? I happen to have a whole box of them hidden underneath my ears. And with that, Truffles throws her Cheerios at Princess Pies and breaks the spell the fake king has over her, saving the day, the kingdom, and the planet. Drat! Foiled again! I would have gotten her away with it if it wasn't for that terrible boy and his flea bag dog! Hey! My fleas are 100% gone! Oh, Truffles! <laughs> and they all laugh. The end. So cool watching Julia animations now that we know how she uh, animates all her stuff. Yeah. After seeing behind the scenes of things, I love watching things even more. I do too. Indeed. It's really cool. And it was so cool last week when uh, when we saw the how to do Julia animation stuff yeah. and how her friend Sarah was asking her all those really interesting mm. questions. I liked that a lot. I want to be in a Julia animation one day. I bet you she'll do one. It's my biggest but dream. Pretty good dream to have. I can't tell if she's excited or confused about finding this little mouse. I would be excited. Well, this is it. This was that's the this is the end of the last show. This has been my favorite experience so far. I think so I too. love hanging out with my friends. What's up? What's You're that? getting another call, Beth. Oh my goodness. You're getting another what call. What could it be this time? I don't know. Uh, we have to answer the phone. Okay. Quick. Hey, Hello? Beth the Bunny, it's me, Mr. Benton. Hi, boss, how's it going? Oh, not bad, not bad, but I got some interesting news to Ooh. tell you about the, your job. I love interesting news. Okay, so the Daily Carry, you know the newspaper where you work with me. Yeah, my favorite place on Earth. I got some crazy news, it's been sold. <gasps> what? I sold it for $15 million to oh, SC Entertainment. Oh, my Entertainment. <gasps> That's the biggest TV show brand in the entire I world. I know, bitch. So the, the, it's going to be in good hands. I'll tell you that much right now. Mm -hmm. But they are going to change it from a newspaper <gasps> into a television show. Oh, my goodness. We can reach so many more people like that. Yes, and they want you, <gasps> Beth V. Bunny. They want me? To be the host of the new show. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent job. Okay, so I'll see you later. It's, oh, by the way, it's in a different city. You're going to have to move across the country. What? Is that okay? Can I bring my friends with me? 
Well, Please. there is a spot for two other people if they want to be on the show, if you know somebody good. Okay, I'll talk to them and maybe you can call me back. Okay, well, if, if, if it's good by me if you want them to come, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Ben. All right, I'll see you in New York. New York. See you later, Ben. Bye. Bye. Beth? Oh, my goodness. Beth? Do you guys want to come to New York with me? What do you... Yeah, we should. We're going we to go to New York? Broadway. I could get a job driving a cab in New York. <gasps> Imagine all the people you could drive. That would be awesome. In New York. This is going to be a wild adventure. A guys. wild adventure. Beth and Magic and Mr. Blaze in New York. You know, I'm kind of sad to leave my bunny home here. But you know what? It's going to be okay as long as I have my friends. I think so too. We're going to have a great time. And thank you so much everybody who's been watching us for... Uh, the last 19 episodes of Rabbit Ears. This has been a fabulous adventure. Thank you so much. Thank, and thank you, guys. You. Thank you, Beth, and thank you, Magic. Thank you, thank Mr. Blaze, and thank you so much, my best friend, Magic. You too, Beth, and Mr. Blaze. You guys are great. Well, may I guess we'll see you in New York, guys. In New York. Bye. Bye. Oh. Do you have any final words for well, the final show? Well, yes, thank you for reminding me. No problem. For our very final fact. I need you to remember that octopuses have blue blood, but that's not all. They also have nine brains. Nine brains? Nine brains! That's awesome! Imagine how smart I would be if I had nine brains. I know, right? Octopuses. I could run nine TV shows. <laughs> okay, now it's been, it's, it's settled. Octopuses are the smartest creature on earth. The brainiest. The, the brainiest. brainiest. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're right. Okay, see you later. We gotta go. Bye. We gotta go pack to go to New York. See ya. Bye. New York. <laughs> pun, pun, and Dave. Pun, pun, and Dave. Pun, pun, and Dave. Pun, pun, and Dave. Pun, pun's a goat, and Dave's a kind of fish, man. Like to hang out and have a lot of fun. Here we are, Dave, on this airplane, on the way to New York. Yeah, man, I, I hope, uh, you know, Beth the Bunny and Mr. Blaze and Magic don't mind that we uh, just kind of show up there. We didn't even tell them we were coming. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be a fun trip. I don't even know if it is a trip, man. Like, I'm thinking maybe we should just live there. Live there in New York? Forever? Yeah, man, it was like, I was thinking, like, maybe living in Greenwich Village, because I live the bohemian lifestyle, and I am a kind of a beat poet, and a very hip, I am a very hip man, and you are my friend, and we are both very hip dudes together, and we could live in Greenwich Village, it would be magical, my friend. Well... Well, as long as there's something to eat there, because I'm starving. The food on this plane was terrible. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's some kind of, uh, you know, bagels or hot dogs or whatever they got there. Well, I'm really just, I'm trying to live a more healthy lifestyle, Dave. So, I, I was thinking maybe probably not a hot dog. Oh, yeah? Not a hot dog, eh? Well, uh, what do you think you will get when we get to New York? Probably just a big apple. Oh, Pan Pan. I love my life's journey with you. It is beautiful. <laughs>